Hello there, and welcome to Dino Ed 1, helping you with misconceptions that you might have on dinosaurs. I am Fantasy Mashup, and today we're working on Velociraptors. So, you know in Jurassic Park where they have Velociraptors, you know, sort of like this, this type of Velociraptor, six feet tall, about the size of a human, with the, sort of actually close to this as well, but I feel like this is more of a Jurassic Park representation. So, Jurassic Park was wrong. This is the true Velociraptor, and they're only like two feet tall. So, why, real quick, let's just address like what a real Velociraptor is. So this would actually be, or maybe this one in real life would be just a little bit of a smaller shape. Maybe this one's sort of scouting and so it's standing up higher, but it could be a real Velociraptor. We, I'm just gonna address it as such. But ones that are like this, that are six feet tall, and have this basic shape, are Deinonychus. I'll explain more about that from reading from the Jurassic Park novel by Michael Crichton. And then this one, you can tell that it is a real Velociraptor because of the distinct head shape. While this one has more of a slightly boxy head shape, this one has more of a pointed snout, and it's a little bit longer in real life. You might not be able to tell here, but this guy... Yeah, you probably won't be able to see much difference. And then, just some main differences. Um, the Velociraptor lived in Mongolia, I believe. And the Deinonychus lived in, like, North America, Wyoming, wherever, you know, wherever you find Deinonychus. Basically, just Western, just the Western America. That's basically where you find these guys. And then... So, yeah, now we're going to just check out the actual Jurassic Park novel, and I'm going to show you where it actually says where the misconception started. Alright guys, I finally found it after a little while. Um, here it is. So Dr. Grant is saying, what do you know about Velociraptor to Tim? And Tim said, it's a small carnivore that hunted in packs, just like Deinonychus. And Alan Grant said, that's right, although Deinonychus is now considered one of the Velociraptors. And so, in the book... Velociraptor and Deinonychus, they were just different species. This guy was just a different species from like this guy. Totally the same. Velociraptor, Deinonychus, one thing, two species. So that's where it all started and they put that in the movie where the actual Deinonychus, because they were bigger and scarier, so they made it probably wouldn't have been too terrifying. They're these little two foot guys running around and slicing people. Might They could have made it, but I feel like the bigger ones were probably a better choice, but I... Once they figured out that they were different, they probably just could have said, this is a Deinonychus. We misidentified it back in 1980. I mean, it wouldn't be too hard to do, and then they could just keep on calling it Deinonychus, which would also introduce the public into a new type of dinosaur, which I think would be a good idea. But yeah, all because of one misconception in the original, everybody no came to know and love the bigger version, and so the Velociraptor was just used ever since. Which is kind of a pity because it's not scientifically accurate at all. I wish they would change it and everybody, well, anybody who has dinosaur knowledge beyond basically Jurassic Park and knows a little bit about Velociraptor would probably know that this six foot tall is not a real Velociraptor. Um, so I'm just going to go grab a real quick dinosaur book just to show you maybe a better picture of it. My little book of dinosaurs over here. I just gotta find the Velociraptor, which would be in the V section. Give me a sec. Here we go. So the Velociraptor is the one that's down here. So that is the artwork of what a Velociraptor is actually assumed to look like. I think, yeah. So that's what it's assumed to look like. And this is a fossil example of the Velociraptor. Uh, they found it locked in battle. Um, a sudden sandstorm possibly overtook it, locked in battle with a protoceratops. So two perfectly preserved skeletons, two different dinosaurs, fighting and locked in combat. And I think the protoceratops is actually biting the Velociraptor's arm. Really cool fossil. You should look it up. Um, so yeah, other than that, just a little bit of fantasy news. This guy, we already did, well, we basically finished the Raptor series already, and then we got this guy. So, this guy's going to be the next review, and then Raptor series 
for the Schleich will be finished and cassowary time. So I'm hoping to get this review out soon. Um, and I'm sorry for not releasing this video sooner. I think that I probably hinted to it in one of my other videos. And so, well, now you know. Um, in Jurassic Park, the original novelization, right here by Michael Crichton, there had apparently been some scientific study that had said that Deinonychus was the same thing, just different species of the Velociraptor that lived in Mongolia, or China, or wherever. And so, yeah, that's basically what, what happened. Misconception, which led to all the movies just sticking with the same thing. Uh, they probably could have easily resolved it, but mm, just an interesting thing to think that one tiny accidental slip up in a book might just change the whole scientific perspective on a creature. Yep, so um, that's all for today's video. Samuel Show coming out. I think it's going to be next, but I'm not sure. I'm not going to make any promises since I sort of didn't keep the last one I made. <laughs> um... So yeah, we're going to be doing some awesome stuff on the channel. Samuel show, um, um, since it's getting closer, I'm going to hint you towards a little bit of what's going to happen for episode 5. We may or may not need a, a little bit of a longer video for that. If you know what I mean. So, yeah, that's the only hint that I'm giving you, so... Uh, like, subscribe, fantasy mashup out, and now to the outro, and the dinosaur says goodbye. <laughs> Dramatic death scene. Oh. I'll just, I'll just turn it off.